Hey everyone. Um, today I am out in the shop throwing. Um, I have several different things that I want to get thrown today. I don't know how much I'll get done. We have some plans this evening, but um, <clears throat> right now I'm working on just throwing a mug. Um, I've already it's, it started with two pounds and I've already centered it. I forgot to start the video <laughs> before I did all that, but you guys probably know how to center anyway. So um, I'm gonna get this mug thrown. I'm filming this one because I bought some, um, <laughs> my uh, I bought some underglaze decals that I want to use. Um, I saw a mug on Pinterest that I just thought was really cute, and I love leopard print. I also bought um, these blue peonies, because peonies are my favorite flower, but um, I got this black leopard print one. It is so cute. I got three sheets of it. I didn't realize they were this big, which is nice. These are, um, I think these are Ellen transfers, I believe. Um, so I'm, I've already made one mug and on this one too, I'm gonna do um, let the leopard print on it, all, I guess, over the whole thing. And then I'm gonna do <clears throat> um, a glaze color on like the top half. So I was just gonna film that process from start to finish. And I'm gonna re -wet this, it's been sitting here for a minute. Nice and centered. Okay, we're opening. And I tend to leave my bottoms a little thick because I've started trimming like a little bit of a lip on the outside, but I also um, carve out the center. So it's got a nice foot ring. Um, and then I stamp into it and I need it to be a little bit thicker on the bottom for when I do my stamps, just cause, um, otherwise it kind of leaves a, a bubble indent where I've done that and just things I'm learning over time. My stamp is actually pretty big. I, I wish it could be smaller, but the letters, um, are so small on there, we had to make it a fairly decent size. But it's fine, I love our stamp, I love our decal. We actually, um, my sister-in-law has, um, I think it's a Cricut, I don't really know. Uh, she made us a decal for our door. So I put that up a couple weeks ago and I'm loving that. All right. I like to make a little indent around the base before I start pulling up. And I'm still not great at pulling up the walls. I'm still trying to find like what works for me. I, st I watch other people and um, I just can't seem to do <laughs> what everyone else does, what works for them. So for me, it's weird. Like I pull with my middle two fingers, which is, I don't know. And my, I have a hard time keeping my clay wet, which maybe I need to start practicing with a sponge. Um, I don't know y'all, I'm still figuring all this jazz out. I'm trying to do it to where you can see and it's messing me up, so I'm gonna quit doing that. Okay, so 
slow my wheel down a little bit. <laughs> I just totally messed it up by trying to show y'all how I pull walls. We're gonna fix that. We're gonna salvage it. I've learned to salvage some pretty bad, <laughs> pretty bad mess ups. One, I hate wedging clay. Two, I'm not a fan of coning clay. <laughs> this is all kinds of wonky, and I'm sorry. We'll get it there. Now this one, I wanted it to be more of a like, barrel shape. This looks massive. By the time it's done, it won't be. I've had people wanting like bigger cups. Almost like a, I want to do like a tumbler. Cause I'm, I used to add, I'm used to adding handles to everything. Maybe I could just do a tumbler this time. So my rim is a little wobbly because of how I started this. And let's wipe our hands off. First time I tried to do that, <laughs> I royally messed it up. <laughs> Slow going is the name of the game. So this cup looks very large. I might um, compress some of that bag in there. So with underglaze decals, uh, do you? I can look, I'm gonna look later. But do you have to put clear over them or can you just leave them like the raw clay and glaze, under glaze? I don't really know. Cause I kind of like the mixture of textures between um, glaze and then no glaze. <laughs> but I don't know if you can do that or if underglaze would eventually come off that way. Uh, if you know, feel free to comment. This is a large tumbler. <laughs> I think, uh, so when I started making stuff, I had to start out with a lot more clay just because by the time I would be done, I lost a lot of the clay, like just by messing up and fixing and all that. Um, I've gotten better, not great, but better. Where's my, there we go. And so I'm thinking I can start with less clay now, but I'm have it, I guess. And I'll take my red rib here and just clean it up a little bit. Once you wobbly, it'll be fine. This game's not perfectly centered. I don't always get it there.
Okay. So by the time that shrinks down, we'll shrink about 12%, right? We'll be a good sized tumbler. Cool. And I like to put a little bit of water right there before I wire it off so that it slides off easier. All right. On to the next. This one is already spoken for. It's gonna have like a pink on top half, clear on bottom, but maybe some teal somewhere. I haven't quite figured that out yet, but these look really cute.
get as hot this time. But we got to cone five, so, oh, you can't see that, cone five. Wonder, probably just because there's not as much stuff in here, but. Okay. Um, so this was the leopard mug. It probably could have used another layer of raspberry mist. But it's still cute, the light pink. that you can still see the leopard underneath that. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to or not. Awesome. 